Amen. It's good to be in God's house one more time. And, you know, I just thank Him, praise Him, you know, for what He's doing. And, amen. Thank Him, praise Him for what He's going to do, Brother Kenneth. And, you know, I'm to just keep hanging on and keep pressing on. And, you know, it's the main thing, you know. We've, we've come too far to turn back now. And, you know, and, but I just thank Him, praise God, you know, for just for His presence, Brother Kenneth. And, you know, for for dwelling here perpetually and and all for, you know, for what he's doing, you know. And, you know, a lot of times, Brother Kenneth, we may not see all that he's doing, but, but hey, man, he's always got a plan. And, you know, he's all, always at work, Brother Kenneth. And, and, hey, man, I'm not real sure how this is going to go. And, you know, Brother Matthew, you know, he pretty much was pretty much the whole message this morning, Brother Kenneth. And, you know, as Brother Matthew and Sister Nikki started in Exodus chapter 2, and I was like, wow. I said, Lord, they're getting awful close. And and then, amen, they jumped over, you know, to, to chapter 3, and I was like, man, I was like, well, I was like, your will, Lord, be done. And But, amen, I'm thankful, you know, Brother Steve, you know, it's just like, you know, it's just the way God works, Brother Kenneth, and a lot of times. And, and amen, I truly thank God for confirmation, you know, Brother Steve, time and time again, Brother Kenneth, and, and amen, and but but with amen, with the help of the Lord tonight, we're going to be in the book of Exodus, chapter three, and and amen. If y'all was here this morning, amen, you heard the biggest part of it, brother Kenneth. But but amen, you know, I, I just thank and praise God, you know, for what He's doing, and and amen, what He's going to do. But but amen, how many knows tonight, amen, that we serve a God that can deliver, brother Kenneth, and. Hey man, I don't care where you've been, what you've done, or what situation, you know, that you find yourselves in, or I find myself in. Hey man, we serve a God, Brother Eddie, that can deliver and set free in a moment's notice in a twinkling of an eye. Hey man, it don't take him two weeks to get the job done, but but hey man, it just as quick as, you know, I surrender and Brother Kenneth and you know, just as quick as I go down one way I can come up anew. Hey man, just that quick, but but hey man, but but with help of the Lord tonight, you know, I'll try not to keep you too long, but it's all God's time anyway, and you know, I just want to bring forth, you know, what He would have, Brother Kenneth, and you know, y'all just pray for me, you know, that I get out of the way, you know, it's not about me, Brother Kenneth, it's it's all about Him tonight, but but hey man, with the help of the Lord, the book of Exodus chapter three. Starting at verse 1, it says, Now Moses kept back the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he held, led the flock to the backside of a desert and came to the mountain of God, even unto Herob. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burnt with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside to see this great sign, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that that he had turned aside to see, God called him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows." In verse 8, it says, And I am come down to deliver them out of the land of Egypt, of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land into a good land, and a large, and into the land flow, flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Armorites, and the Persazites, and the Hivites, and the Jeb- Jebusites. And amen, as I begin to read that, Brother Kenneth, this week, and, and amen, one little verse, amen, that, that kind of stuck out, Brother Kenneth, and the Lord began to deal with me on, amen, is verse 8 right there. Amen, the Bible says right there in verse 8, it says, I am come down to deliver them out of the land. 
Hey, man, I don't know who needs it tonight, Brother Kenneth, but hey, man, I believe with everything in me, Brother Eddie, that God's in the house. Hey, man, to deliver, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, just not anybody, hey, man, that entered in those doors tonight. But hey, man, I'm here to encourage you, hey, man, that God is saying, hey, man, that I have come down. Hey, man, to deliver, to set free. Hey, man, whatever it is you need tonight, hey, man, God is here. But hey, man, you got to make a choice, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, to come. Hey, man, and it's been burning in my heart all day, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, that God is, hey, man, I believe he's here in the service tonight, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, to set you free. Hey, man, to bring you out of that land of Egypt. Hey, man. Hey, man, but you got to make that choice, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, you got to make that decision, hey, man, to be sick and tired. Hey, man, and sick and tired of where you're at. Amen, to turn that heart to, amen, to understand, amen, and know, amen, that God is for you and not against you, amen, that he loves you tonight regardless of where you've been, and amen, as I begin to read, amen, on through there, amen, uh, even that whole chapter and over into chapter four, amen, you see, amen, Moses, brother Kenneth, amen, he began to complain, amen, amen, and begin, you know, why I'm not able to do this, Amen. I'm not an eloquent speaker. Amen. Who should I say, amen, that sent me? Amen. They will not believe. But amen, after, amen, God heard, amen, all the complaints, amen, that about Moses. But amen, God is saying, amen, let me tell you who I am. Amen. In other words, you tell them, amen, I am that I am sent me. Amen. It's not you doing the work anyway. But amen, it's going to be me. Amen. Hey man, I'm the one that come down to deliver. Hey man, all you got to do is obey. Hey man, I like to encourage you tonight. Hey Amen. When God comes down, hey man, to set free and deliver. Hey man, He knows just exactly how to do it. Hey man, but I've got to stop complaining. Hey man, start you know stop trying to justify things you know this is going on I'm not this or I'm not that but amen God says amen that I am that I am amen once you turn it over amen he can do it Amen, because the word says, amen, if God starts the work, Brother Kenneth, amen, in me or you or anybody else, amen, he will finish it. Amen, God will bring you out of Egypt. Amen, if you allow him. Amen, the Lord says he dwells here perpetually, Brother Kenneth. Amen, whether you realize it or not, amen, he is here in the house. Hey man, and he's came down, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, he, he, he's your deliverer. Hey man, he's come down to deliver and set free. Hey man, and when God shows up to deliver, hey man, he knows just how to, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, he don't have to ask my permission. Hey man, or, or anybody else's. Amen. But God can bring you out of Egypt tonight if you allow him to. And amen. I was thinking, amen, about David. Amen. He made this statement. Amen. Here in the uh, book of Samuel. Amen. And the book of Second Samuel, Samuel chapter 9. You can read it down through there. Amen. The Bible says, David said, are there anybody left? Amen. Of the house of Saul or Jonathan. Amen. That I can bless. And amen. There's a guy or a king or something along that lines of Zibia and said, you know, Jonathan had a son. Amen. His name is Methabesh. And amen. The Bible says, amen. At the age of like four or five years old, Brother Kenneth. Amen. That there's an accident that took place that made him a lame. Amen. From his youth on up, Brother Steve. And amen. David began to ask, are there anybody left? Amen. Of that house. Amen. That I can bless. And amen. Like I said, amen. They pretty much told him. Amen. Jonathan, who you loveth. 
Hey man, he still yet has a son. But hey man, he's down in a place called Lowly Bar, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, a place, hey man, without. Hey man, in other words, hey man, there's nothing good, hey man, down there in that land. And hey man, I love it, hey man, when God, hey man, sets forth to deliver, hey man, he knows just a way to deliver. Hey man, and David, hey man, no doubt, Brother Kenneth, you can read down through there. Hey man, he went down in the lowly bar, amen. And he and Methabesh, he didn't stay there very long, Brother Kenneth. But amen, he went from a place called no good. Hey man, lowly bar, amen, means amen without pasture or anything like that, Brother Kenneth. But amen, it wasn't meant for Methabesh to stay where he was at. Hey man, he even called himself like a, a dog or something along that lines, Brother Kenneth. But amen, when God sets out, hey man, to deliver you, hey man, he knows just how to bring you out. Hey man, Methabesh, hey man, he had a choice to make. Hey man, he could stay, Brother Steve, in lowly bar where he was at. Or hey man, when those chariots and those fine horses rose up, hey man, at his doorstep, hey man, he had a choice to make. Hey man, to stay, hey man, exactly where he's at, or hey man, get in those chariots, hey man, and go, hey man, to the king's palace. You see, you have that choice tonight. Hey man, that's what's so great about God, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, he'll come, hey man, and to deliver and set free. Hey man, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Hey man, but it's your choice. Hey man, Methabesh right here. Hey man, you can read it down through there. Hey man, in Second Kings chapter nine, down through there. Hey man, he went from lowly bar, brother Kenneth. Hey man, a place of no good, from eating to the at the king's table. Hey man, why settle? Hey man, for the least. Hey man, why settle for being in Egypt? Hey man, why settle being down in Lowly Bar when God's saying you can eat from the king's table? But it's your choice tonight. Hey man, God will sit and knock Brother Eddie. Hey man, like a perfect gentleman, Brother Kenneth. But hey man, and God does a choosing. We don't choose him. And amen, you're not here. Amen, just because somebody asked you to be here. God knew exactly who would be here tonight. Amen. And I go to far as say this. God is here. Amen, to deliver. Amen, to bring you out of lowly bar. Amen, to bring you out of Egypt. Amen, but just like Moses, we got to have a made up mind. You know, sometimes we, we want to be like Moses to, to, to begin to murmur and complain why I can't do this. Hey, man, I can't. I can't. Like five times Moses complained, Brother Kenneth. But, hey, man, after that fifth time, hey, man, he said, okay. He said, Aaron. Hey, man. And then he, Aaron began to, you know, go with him and things. And, hey, man, after five times of complaining, God simply told him. You know, and they made up their mind, Brother Kenneth, and went. Hey, man, see, we simply just got to make up our mind, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, turn our heart to the understanding. Hey, man, and, and go, hey, man, with what God would have. We may not understand everything. We may not all know God's plan, Brother Kenneth. But, hey, man, just know that he is there. Hey, man, and he is for you. Amen, and not against you. Hey, man, I told somebody over the phone today, you know, I'd love to see them in God's house tonight, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, because I don't want them to face 2023. Hey, man, being outside of God. Hey, man, not having a Lord as their personal Savior. But, hey, man, it's ultimately their choice, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, because God knows what lies ahead, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, there's been many things said and prophecies, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, and I don't want to find myself. Hey man, abiding outside of the shadows of the Almighty, but I want to be found. Hey man, abiding under the shadows of His wing, Brother Kenneth. 
Hey, man, especially in this new year coming up, Brother Eddie. Hey, man, there's going to be a lot of good, and I believe there's going to be a lot of bad, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, especially, amen, I believe, amen, when God begins to shake, amen. And he said, amen, he's going to shake everything that could be shaken. Amen. And we better be found, Brother Kenneth, holding to what we know. Amen. Holding to that nail scar hand with everything we know how to do. Amen. I like to encourage you tonight. Amen. If you don't know the Lord, he's just a prayer away. Amen. And he will deliver. Amen. He'll bring you out. Amen. Of all the things, amen, that you've got yourself tied into. Amen. But when God delivers, amen, he delivers. Amen. He'll set you free. I don't care what it is. Amen. Because the word, Brother Kenneth, the Bible says that it's his anointing. Amen. That breaks the yoke. Amen. It's not anything that I can do or anybody else. But amen. When God sends it, Brother Kenneth, amen, it's done, it's signed, it's sealed, and it's delivered. But amen. Amen. I'd like to encourage you. Hey man, when God does the delivering, Brother Kenneth, it's done. Hey man, when he comes down, Brother Kenneth, hey man, just like back there in the book of Exodus, hey man, there's nothing Moses could do. He can complain all he want to, but hey man, he's one done the chosen. Hey man, Moses, hey man, is the one that God handpicked. Hey man, said I choose you. Amen, to bring my children Israel, amen, out of the land of Egypt. Amen, 400 years or better, Brother Kenneth, in bondage. Amen, that's all they knew. Amen, but it didn't stop God, Brother Kenneth. Amen, all you know, all you know to do. Amen, that's all the children of Israel knew, Brother Kenneth, was slavers in bondage. But amen, God simply came down and said, I'm going to bring you into a land that floweth with milk and honey. But amen, it was ultimately the children's Israel's choice, Brother Kenneth. It was their choice. It, it, it wasn't meant for them to wander 40 years in the wilderness. But amen, because of unbelief, Brother Kenneth, amen, they spent, amen, it took pretty much, it's either three or 11 days journey, amen, from time they left Egypt, amen, to the land of Canaan. But it ended up taking them 40 years because of unbelief. Amen, evil heart of unbelief. But amen, I'm here to tell you tonight, amen, that it's not meant for you to stay where you're at. But, hey, man, you ever heard God's got better for you? Hey, man, he's got it. Hey, man, you don't have to stay in Egypt. Brother Eddie, you don't have to stay in Lowly Bar. But, hey, man, we serve a Redeemer, hey, man, that can set you free. Hey, man, but, but you got to have that made up and bind. Hey, man, you got to be sick and tired of sick and tired, hey, man, of where you're at. Hey man, you know, I often think about Methabesh. Hey man, when I, from time to time, I read this story in the book of Second Samuel. Hey man, and you can read the Bible says, hey man, that they, they were pretty much fleeing, Brother Kenneth, and maybe a nurse or the, the doctor. Hey man, the nurse ended up dropping him at a very young age, four or five years old. And hey man, he pretty much began crippled, hey man. Hey man, from from that time up, Brother Kenneth. But hey man, God knew exactly where he is at. Hey man, he knew him, and hey man, and and called David, hey man, pretty much, hey man, to go and deliver. Hey man, to bring him out. Hey man, from lowly bar at place that he was in. Hey man, to, to eat at the king's table. Hey man, even Zibia, hey man, had many sons and things like that. And David told them, said all the ground, hey man, everything that Saul had, hey man, will be given to him. And hey man, I want you to till the ground for him. Hey man, I want you to plant the crops for him. And hey man, when harvest time comes around, hey man, bring it in to his table. 
Amen. God will provide for you if you allow him. Amen. But you got to have that made up mind. <laughs> Hey, man, no doubt it seemed like all hope was gone down there in lowly bar, Brother Kenneth. And, but, hey, man, I could just imagine just for a few moments, hey, man, all of a sudden, hey, man, Methabesh heard a sound coming. And, and, hey, man, as he began to look maybe out his windows, Brother Matthew, and, hey, man, and maybe he seen big white stallions and chariots and, and hey, man, kings and things set up on them. And, hey, man, all of a sudden he probably wondered, what's this? Amen, because he's in that shape for a long time, Brother Kenneth. Amen. God sees exactly where you're at tonight. Amen. But that's not stopping God from coming down and saying you can be free. Amen. He's come to set free and deliver. Amen. But it's ultimately your choice. Amen. It's your choice. You got to have that made up mind tonight to not stay where you're at. You don't have to. Hey Amen. It's ultimately your choice. But hey Amen. We serve a God that will make a way, Brother Kenneth. Hey Amen. Where there seem to be no way. Hey Amen. Just like hey Amen right here. Hey Amen. The in the children of Israel, Brother Kenneth. Hey Amen. The Bible says, you know. Moses should have already knew that that the you know that Pharaoh wasn't going to let the children go the first time because Amen is ultimately God, Amen that done the hardening of the heart. But Amen, I believe God done that for a very reason because of the false gods, Amen they begin to worship and served. But Amen, He was simply showing them, brother Eddie, every God they served, Amen that He was the God of gods, Amen, Amen He was, Amen and He is, Amen I am that I am. Hey man, I'm here to carry you tonight. Hey man, I am that I am. Hey man, is he calling your name tonight? Hey man, if he is, he's just a prayer away, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, you don't have to stay in lowly bar any longer. Hey man, you don't have to stay in Egypt, hey man, in bondage any longer. Hey man, God has made a way, Brother Eddie. Hey man, he's made that way out. Hey man, and he is that way. But hey man, all you got to do, hey man, is take that first step and call upon him. Hey man, why he is near. Hey man, seek him why he may be found. Hey man, because there's coming a time, Brother Eddie, I may want to feel that knock. Hey man, upon my heart's door, and I may never feel it. Hey man, that's how important it is. Hey man, especially in this day and hour. Hey man, I don't know the time. Hey man, that the Spirit's going to lift off the Gentile nation. But hey man, I believe it's nigh, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, it's close. Why do I say that? Hey man, because the star of Bethlehem. Hey man, that appeared two years ago. Hey man, God didn't appear that into the heavens. Hey man, just just for the twiddle a day away. But hey man, the Bible says there'll be signs in the heavens and signs in the earth. Hey man, and that was for a reason and a very sign. Hey man, I believe it's a sign, hey man, that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, hey man, is close to returning. Hey man, and there's a lot of things that's taking place, hey man. People look for that sign, Brother Eddie or Brother Kenneth. But hey man, I believe a lot of things has truly already come to pass. Why do I say that? Hey, man, sometimes man wants to look through the carnal eyes and understand with their flesh and their carnal mind way of thinking. And when God said it's already been done, I've already done it. Hey, man, why? Because God's ways is above our ways. Hey, man, it's above man's ways and past finding out. Hey, man, just because I think that this should happen this way or that way. Hey man, it may not be, it don't mean the hill of beans to God. Hey man, just like right here, hey man, Moses made excuse. Hey man, why couldn't? Hey man, won't you stop making excuses tonight? And hey man, and say with God I can. Hey man, because he's a one, hey man, that does it anyway. Hey man, it's when he it's God that does the work, Brother Kenneth. 
Hey, man, I've only got one job to do. Hey, man, according to this word of God, Brother Kenneth, hey, man, the Bible says my my work is to believe on, hey, man, whom God has sent. Hey, man, I got to believe. Hey, man, all I got to do, Brother Steve, is believe. Hey, man, that God sent his son. Hey, man, that I can have life. Hey, man, and have it more abundantly. And hey, man, all I got to do, that's my work, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, and the other, hey, man, I'll fall right into place. It'll all line up, and that's all you have to do tonight. And amen, I believe a, a, a biggest part of you truly believes that, Brother Kenneth. And why do I say that? Because you're in God's house tonight. Amen, I believe you're truly seeking for a change, Brother Kenneth. Amen, because if you truly weren't seeking for a change in your life, you wouldn't be in God's house. Hey, man, when I was running out in the world, Brother Kenneth, just hard as I can run. Hey, man, I, I wasn't worried about coming to God's house. I wasn't ready to seek for a change. Hey, man, until God said. Hey, man, until I would begin to get sick and tired of where I was at. Hey, man, and the roads that are traveled down, Brother Eddie. And then God seen. Okay, child, you're at your lowest of lows. Now I can now come to me and I can do something with you. Amen. Like he told, amen, in the book of Ruth, amen, that where she left, amen, you know, full but came back empty. You see, sometimes God will bring you back empty to where he can do the feeling. You see, we spend a lifetime, a lot of times, Brother Kenneth, of letting the world fill us up. But you notice, when the world fills, hey man, it just leaves us empty. Hey man, so God is saying to you tonight, hey man, you left full and you've came back empty. Hey man, now God can use you if you allow him. Hey man, let God do the pouring and the filling tonight. Hey man, he's just a prayer away tonight. Amen, and like to encourage you. Amen, call upon him. Call upon him while he's near. Amen, don't turn him away. Amen, don't turn him away. Amen, many have experienced and seen what God can do. Amen, how he, how he can transform lives. Amen, in a moment's notice, in a twinkling of an eye. But amen, I'm here to encourage you tonight. God can deliver. He can set free. Hey, man, he is what you need tonight. Hey, man, it's only because him, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, that we can do anything. But you don't have to stay where you're at. Hey, man, you don't have to dwell in that land of Egypt. Hey, man, you don't have to stay in that bondage and be held captive any longer. But, hey, man, God sent the very best that he had, Brother Matthew, to make that way. Hey man, to come out of that bondage, to come out of that place. Hey man, that place wasn't meant for you. Hey man, the Bible says, hey man, that hell wasn't prepared for either one of us, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, it was just prepared for the devil and his angels. Hey man, but God can bring you out tonight if you'll let him. And if he's knocking up on your horse door tonight, I pray, I beg you, don't turn him away. Hey, man, Egypt's trying to destroy you. Hey, man, down in Lowly Bar, that place is trying to destroy you and take you out, Brother Kenneth. But, hey, man, God says, I'll set you free. He'll set you free if you allow him. Hey, man, all you got to do is take that first step of faith, Brother Kenneth, and lay it down and just surrender it all to him tonight. And, hey, man, no matter what comes or goes, no matter how many times we stumble or fall, get back up and run to him. Come running. Hey, man, because there's going to come a time, Brother Kenneth, that, you know, the running, hey, man, the conviction, hey, man, that, that we feel, hey, man, it's going to run out. Hey, man, it's going to run out, Brother Eddie. Hey, man, when God lifts his spirit and turns back to the his people, hey, man, or where we're at in God is all we're going to have, Brother Kenneth. Hey, Amen. But I like to encourage you tonight, if God is dealing with you, I pray, you know, don't turn him away. He loves you. He sent it the very best. Hey, Amen. He sent his only begotten son, Brother Kenneth. Hey, Amen. That none should perish. 
but all should come to repentance. Hey, man, if you don't know him, he's just a prayer away tonight. And hey, man, as Sister Amy said many times, these signs out here, Jesus is the answer. Hey, man, he, he is the answer to it all. But hey, man, we just got to surrender to him tonight. But, but if we all would, we'll find us a place to pray tonight.